Alright, in this video, I'll show you how to take a screenshot or uh, maybe even a video capture from any software applications running in Android. Okay, um, first, you know, let me show you that. You have seen many of the asset like this. Okay, you can't take a screenshot due to security policy. You might have seen many of this. Okay, if you want to take a screenshot, that is not possible in Android. But, you know, don't worry about that. You need to have a PC, download BlueStacks, which is right over here, and download the BlueStacks. After installing BlueStacks, it's over here, and, you know, just click and install it. Okay, I found there is an application in particular that doesn't allow to take a screenshot, which is, you know, almost all the education applications. Um, time is there, entry app is there, um, you know, carrier bill is there, Wi-Fi study, ADA247, a lot of applications are there, which doesn't allow you to take screenshot. But right in here, I just run BlueStack. What? After running BlueStack, search for that applications in Play Store. Um, yeah, you need to sign in. Alright, back in here, search for the applications. I like to search for Carrier Bill app, which is right here. And, you know, this doesn't allow you to take screenshot. Okay, no problem. It's uh, downloading, I think. Okay, allow these permissions. Alright, uh, well, in here, I would like to take into a video. I don't know what the hell is going on here. Come here, right? Tell me, X or Y get peers. That's how you will be recording any stuff right from here. You can either take a screenshot by using Start and Print Screen, or you can, yeah, make use of um, the OBS Studio, which is right here. So if you want to see the OBS Studio. You can obviously download it right from here, OBS Studio, which is absolutely free and you can take anyway screen capture. You can download it right from here. After downloading, you would like to see a couple of settings here. Just, just get into settings and uh, get into video. That will show the resolution. You know, that's a resolution of a monitor. And if you don't want to uh, spend a lot of memory on recording, you can decrease this number right into 60 right now I'm recording in 60 frames per second you can go for 30 and also get into audio this will record right from your speaker you have to make sure that your speaker the sound is playing through your speaker so for that I will I have no idea where the speaker is yeah speaker you know you can see that the speaker is right in here okay this is the speaker which I'm listening my sound to if you uh, have multiple speaker you can pick a different speaker right from here now well, so let me get into YouTube first and uh, oh yeah you can hear that sound right from here so this is the speaker and if you want to record your own sound your own voice you can make yourself this is the microphone or in Windows 10, you can go for yeah, Real Tech Audio Console, and that will give you a clear picture on what the speaker is. You can, I think, you can test your speaker right from here. I have no idea. There is an option, and this is your microphone. And anyways, that's how you'll be recording your sound. And also, let, let's go for a little bit more options here. I think um, um, this one. Um, shows your location and recording format. I prefer MP4 and I'm having a uh, NVIDIA graphics card so you can go for this or if you doesn't have a graphics card you can go for CPU. There's an there's another option here which I can't access right now while I am recording. Alright that's all in this video and uh, that's all. Thanks for watching. Yep bye.